FutureCon 2015. Acompanhe a cobertura completa no Canaltech. A expansão das aplicações móveis da internet das coisas tem trazido cada vez mais dificuldades para as telecoms e para as empresas em geral. É, como se proteger nesse cenário? Para falar um pouco sobre isso, converso agora com Tony Anscom, ele é evangelista de segurança da VG. First of all, thanks for coming, Tony. Well, thank you for having me on the show. So, IoT, everybody's talking about that. Uh, IoT is the new thing, but how to be secure with all your devices because they're all trafficking some data and they're all connected to the internet. So, how to do it? Well, it's, it's a big concern. So if, if you think about your, your household or my household, you know, in my household there are three people and there are 19 devices in my household. Well, for connected. three people. For three people. So you can start working out, you know, I've got cameras that connect, I've got printers and we've got tablets and wearables and all sorts of things. So you have to start con uh, being concerned about what's being connected to your network. In effect, I've become nearly like a small business. Mm -hmm. So I need to start treating all my devices like a small business, managing them, managing whether data is encrypted and what data they're sharing. So I have to actually start thinking like a, a small business in my house. Uh -huh. um, and it's a big concern. It, and I think it's a concern that actually as consumers, they need to be educated on, on when they plug the new device in exactly what it's transferring to who and how. But do you, know, do you think they're ready? Do you think they're educated enough? I think, the awareness, I think the awareness of security and privacy is in the media a lot now. Uh, we've seen huge data breaches uh, across the world, which is making everybody aware that actually some of the, some of the value is me, the, the, you know, what companies actually know about me. But I think like for me, it's an idea, 2014, was like a year with loads of cases related to uh, lack of data and security issues. Is it true? Are, are, are the, the, the bad guys being more smart or are the white guys less smart than, than they should be? Now let's be clear, I mean the bad guys are a business. Yeah. Um, you know, 10 years ago it was about disruption and whatever, so you know, blue screens and, and making things not work. Um, now, now, it's it's money. now it's cyber it's crime, they're yeah. stealing your identity, they're stealing your bank account, they're stealing you know, your credit card data and they're going to make money from it, they're going to auction it and somebody else will abuse it. Um, so are they becoming more clever and sophisticated? Yes. Uh, are they becoming more deceitful? Yes, because they want to be on your device without you knowing. As in 10 years ago, they wanted to be on your device and disrupt you. So it's, they are becoming more sophisticated, but at the same time, security companies are, uh, and governments, in fact, are putting down more regulation, more technology to actually find, uh, find how they're doing things and stop mm. them from doing them. Some people always, when you talk about security, some people just come and write to us like, okay, but what if Google has my, da my data? There's no problem on that. Or why do I have to be afraid of someone have my data? What, what can you do with it? With it? So th think about your data as, uh, as the commodity, yeah, your commodity. Mm -hmm. So you need to trade your data to get a service um, that you're happy with. So let's use your example of Google. Google provide you a free service in Gmail well, or Google in Google is okay, Google is still uh, okay, but, uh, yeah. but You trade your data uh -huh, uh -huh. with Google to get those free services. Um, and that's going to be true going forward with IoT. You know, are you willing to trade parts of your data, parts of your identity, to get the free services or the services those companies offer? Yeah, yeah but what about the bad guys? People always say, why do I have to be afraid? Like, okay, if they have my email, that's no problem. Uh, you know, but there is. Well, yeah, I, I, I mean, um, A good, how, many, how many different services do you sign up for on the web? I mean, you've got your bank account, you've got, you know, if you're single, you may have online dating, and you've got your e email, and you've got uh, you know, may, uh, maybe other financial things. You've got a profile online. You know, yeah. How many passwords do you have? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so suddenly, if somebody can breach one, can I access the others? Can I start making money from you? So there is a big risk, um, and people do know. I think most people are aware there is a, ri a risk, But unfortunately, they don't do anything about securing their identity until it's been breached. Yeah. Once it's done, that's a problem. You said uh, you had to cope with your house like a small business because there are 19 devices connected. But what about small business? Small businesses, do you think they're, they're looking to the security side as much as they should do? Yeah, I think small businesses are, are very conscious. Um, yeah, if data breaches don't just happen in big companies, so the threat is there in the smaller companies as well. And there's good data to back that up. 
Uh, certainly in the US, I think se around 70% of small businesses say they've had some form of issue. So there's a, there's a big awareness. Um, I mean, at AVG, we have some products that it, five years ago would have appeared like enterprise products. Uh -huh. Yeah, I talked about 19 devices in my house for three people. Yeah, now a business of 25 people has probably got 150 devices. Yeah, to service their business. So, yeah, they're becoming a small enterprise. But do you think sometimes they they choose for the 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 less expensive solutions or the less reliable solutions because they don't know uh, the, the the utility of something like big or something that's really good for them. Well, I, th I think. I think companies are now understanding that they need to manage all the devices and their data. Um, you know, one good thing about the media publicizing such big data breaches is that all companies then start thinking, am I secure? And in thinking, am I secure, you're raising the awareness and, and probability that they're going to do something about it. Do you already see an increase related to IoT nowadays? We see an increase of companies uh, adding more and more devices to their networks. So for a good, great example of that is BYOD. You know, a lot of members of staff bring in their own mobile phones and connect to corporate networks. How do, you how do you manage all the data on those devices? How do you delete it if the device is lost? What happens when the employee leaves? Uh, and those are some of the tools that we provide small businesses. And also, uh, like in real-time world, things go, uh, change real fast, right? So you're talking to me about AVG, there's no like a uh, release every year now. It's like a release, constant release. Yeah, so we've made the decision at AVG that actually, you know, one, we want to bring out features when they're ready, uh, but two, also as a consumer or a business, you should stop being concerned about version numbers and 2015, 2016 or whatever it is. And actually you should just be concerned about being secure. Um, so we've taken the version numbers off and the products will automatically upgrade as the year goes on. All right, Tony. So thank you very much for coming over. Thank you very much. <laughs>